And we're just coming back up for the end of part one. Um, Previx had detected this uh, rootkit right here that was installed off of this all new, all underscored new file and suggested a system reboot, a disconnect from the internet and to disable any other um, protection programs. This file on our desktop that wasn't uh, removed, I'm going ahead and uh, allowing uh, virus total to scan and see who all is detecting it. I went ahead and uploaded this to virus total and it looks like A squared, Antivir, eSafe, F secure, Icarus, Kaspersky, um, McAfee with Artemis of course, they, they like pretty much detect everything. Um, pretty much that's all that's uh, detecting this right now. Um, it appears that Previx uh, detects it after it's ran and installed a rootkit that it recognizes. So what I've done is uh, gone in here to the settings, detection overrides, and what you could do if you downloaded a file that you knew was was uh, messed up is go in here and add an override to all new and tell it to block this file, which I have, and uh, that's how you would deal with a threat that does get past Previx. Okay, I'm back here and uh, I grabbed some other um, infections here to test since I was unable to get the other ones to work out of my list. <laughs> Having some allergy crud problems today. <clears throat> So like this page is a dead link also. There we go. Looks like we got this rel underscore crypt three running. And it just disappeared. Maybe Previx stopped it from running. Let's go ahead and uh, save it to the desktop and run it. Scam of Previx. Previx detected it as a threat. Uh, found three things actually. Um, well, it found the all new community heuristic. Looks like uh, went ahead and went back and detected this all new file now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and run these other threats. Looks like Opera 9 uh, 1 is running right now. Let's see what happens. Still running, then it just vanished. Go ahead and save it to the desktop. Save that to the desktop, run. Go ahead and do a scan right quick with Previx. Looks like it's detecting everything. Um, allow the process to run for a little bit, but then kicks in. And now I'm disinfecting the machine says it cleaned all those threats. It's not prompting for a recommended reboot. All the threats on the desktop um, have been removed. And as you can see right here, um, 
Looks like it found some registry entries. ifconfig.exe. Um, went ahead and found a bunch of stuff that was uh, installed. Now I'm going to tell it to clean. And it wants to restart the machine in order to clean off all this uh, stuff they got by. And we're back up. Windows is restarting. Previx is starting a scan now to clean up uh, or to find any infections that are still left on the machine. And it looks like it uh, detected these threats again and I'm going to tell it to clean and it's starting another scan okay it looks like um, Previx is stating the machine is clean once again um, there's been no um, stuff out of the startup of course unless it's hidden from the Windows API um, I don't have any of my other tools on here right now on this image which I'm probably gonna put back on here um, Previx is designed to really run alongside um, traditional antivirus as you can see it's only taking up 9.6 megs of RAM right here um, but just like Threatfire um, Previx has almost always seemed to detect more than t the traditional antivirus. Uh, seems to be blocking a lot of this zero day stuff a lot better than, uh, you know, FProt did last night or Trend Micro. Um, I think that, you know, you'd be pretty safe running it by yourself. In almost in all instances, I've seen Threadfire and Previx run by itself better than what it's uh, designed to run with. You know what I mean. So then I'd highly recommend this product uh, be used alongside your uh, current AV or by itself.